Hello, welcome to the podcasters. Today we are going to be discussing equality and equity and how it relates to different subtopics that connect with our world and the people in it. Now tell me, what does equality and equity mean to you? Equity is similar to equality because they both achieve fairness, but they are very different. Equality means to treat everyone the same or equally, regardless of who they are and where they come from, so different backgrounds and ethnicities. Equity achieves fairness by treating people differently depending on their needs. Basically, what I'm saying is that equity is like equality, but better. Many subjects fall under the category of equity and equality. Some of the general categories include gender, race, and sexual orientation. First, we are going to discuss gender. So what would you define gender to be? Well, gender can involve things like women's rights, topics like freedom, opportunities, and liberties a woman has in her life and will be offered throughout her life. All all fall under this category. One of the most important opportunities for women to have is to be treated equally and given the same rights as other genders, such as men. Have you guys ever gone to the store to buy something related to hygiene? and it was way too much for what it was for. And then you look over in the men's section and it is way cheaper. Yeah, and it's not only products that are unfair, there's a lot more. I have heard about some people who know the depths of this topic and know how important it is. They actually devote their lives to this. The notorious Ruth Bader Ginsburg or Yara Shahidi, both important activists for gender equality, really explain and talk about how important gender equality is and how it will become the next generation's responsibility to carry on. I, as a young lady, think that it is crucial that women need equality and equity because I believe that everyone should be treated equally and fairly despite backgrounds, ethnicities, gender, race, or sexual orientation. And it is very important in today's world because we have started to get girls more involved in activities that only men were allowed to participate in in the past. But it's not just women involved in the ongoing battle of not having inequality and inequity in the world. It's also the LGBTQ plus community too. LGBTQ plus stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, and asexual. Each of these sexual orientations are not the only thing that defines a person. Their genuine personality and their actions are what actually define them. However, it is still crucial to realize that however a human being identifies, everyone else around them should respect that and treat them the same way as how they would treat others. I believe LGBTQ plus has a strong importance because they are people who should have the freedom to have their own identity in the world. The LGBTQ plus community deserves this equality and equity because they are getting fired from jobs, harassed and targeted every day. Also, there are a severe amount of laws around the country that eliminate the rights of people in the LGBTQ plus community. This is extremely unfair, especially in our modern world. Alice Nicom and Sylvia Rivera are just two examples of people who have talked about being a part of the LGBTQ plus community and are brave enough to have dedicated their lives to speaking out about the LGBTQ plus community and its importance. In many regions in the world where LGBTQ plus people lack basic human rights and civil protections, LGBTQ plus health equity can hardly be imagined. Even in the US, there are still no federal laws protecting the LGBTQ plus individuals against discrimination in employment, housing, public accommodation, and serious health disparities. Much remains to be done. Members of the LGBTQ plus community suffer pernicious and blatant gender bias in all areas of public and private life, including housing, employment, opportunities, and academic settings, and the ability to buy goods and services, and in the opportunities to participate meaningfully in our society's decision-making processes. There's a growing number of laws around the country that eliminate the rights of people in the LGBTQ plus community. Now that we have gone through equity and equality that relates to gender, let's go over race. There are many races in every country and every continent around the world. Each race holds such a great culture and background, but some people struggle to achieve equality and equity due to their race and harassment because of it. To me, inequality and inequity in race has to do with racial stereotypes. What I mean by this is that Racial stereotypes are exaggerated pictures that we hold about people in a group of a certain race. 
When people categorize others into these stereotypes, they have a harmful effect on all people being affected currently. People do this because the less time they spend and the less they know about that other race, the more likely they are to assume the wrong things. Nupul, Kiazulu, and Ziad Ahmed are activists who speak about racial equality. Their race and background encourage them to talk about racial voting, racial stereotyping, and equality. They're very young and have already started addressing important issues. This is incredibly inspiring because it demonstrates how much are they are, especially at their age. Races, genders, and people's sexual orientation all over the world are definitely struggling to receive equity and equality back from the world. So it is important for them to have the same opportunities as everyone else disregarding their race and gender because if they do not receive the same rights, everything will be unfair and there will be more arguments about it being that way. Giving them the same opportunities will show kindness and respect to those certain cultures. Although all races should have equal rights, some races need more equity than equality. What I mean by this is that there are things like white supremacy that, that put other cultures and races behind them. So this means that the other races need equity against that. The world is modernizing with technology and medicine. It's only fair if we modernize our ideals about what equality really is. In the end, equality and equity are needed for multiple causes like different genders and races. Hopefully you have noticed that they need it too. Throughout this discussion, I think we have deeply expressed our feelings about this and have shown the importance of these groups of people's lives. How they are affected by these issues and how each group can create an impact on the world. The end! <laughs> Yay! <laughs>